Forrest eliminates Durak to advance to the field of eight. This actually turned into my toughest match so far. Ted Forrest advances. He eliminates Sam Farha. What a wild match. You know, we had 14 all-ins. It was a three and a half hour match. I mean, I had him at least 10 times and he won. When you look like you're going to win the match and then it looks like you're going to lose the match and then win, I mean, your emotions and your adrenaline is really going to new highs and, uh, and lows. It's, it's kind of a wild ride. Chris Ferguson has not played anybody with the mystique of Ted Forrest, and it's getting to him. He is lucky to still be in this first match. He should have lost already, but that's poker. Blinds up to 15 and 30,000 via the Outback Pocket Cam. We see Ferguson holding on to Queen Nine of Hearts. He calls. This was the hand that Ted Forrest won a big pot with. Well, not the exact hand. He had Queen Nine of Diamonds. Ted's also got a Queen. Queen Four, he's going to let it go. Flop. flop is Jack, Queen, King. Both players flop Queens. And Chris Ferguson has way the best of it. He's got a nine kicker. He also can make a straight with a ten. Check, check to the turn. Seven of spades. I think there's going to be some action here. Forrest bets 40,000. Car Player Magazine percentages tell you that Ted Forrest has a very little chance of winning the entire pot. There is the chance for a split. That's why they don't add up to 100, and Ferguson just calls here. And the river is the three of diamonds. Chris Ferguson has the best hand. 60. And Ted Forrest is going to bet again. 60,000. Now I believe Chris is just going to call. I'm kind of surprised Chris didn't raise on the turn with a pair of queens and a straight draw. Here, calling is the right move. He's going to win this pot. But he's off his game. Ted Forrest is doing the betting, and Chris is doing the calling. Ferguson wins with the better kicker and has somehow taken the lead. Last year, Chris Ferguson losing to Phil Helmuth in the final of this tournament. He's thrilled to have a shot at the title once again. There's a lot of luck involved, so making it the final twice in a row, is, uh, I'm really, really proud of that. That's uh, not easy to do. I don't think people are going to be able to do that again for a long time. <laughs> I'm very excited to play in the finals again. I think I'm looking for a little bit of redemption from last year. No matter what happens, I'll, I'll be very happy. Well, Chris has started off kind of slow in this match, even though he's got the chip lead now. And if I remember correctly, that's what happened last year against Helmuth. He started out slow, then kicked into gear, and it was real competitive, but Phil came out on top. Forrest on his pair of tens raises to 120,000 here. And Chris Ferguson with the ace nine of hearts is probably going to call. No, he's going to go all in. <laughs> he moves all in. <laughs> and he's going to get called. Call. A quick call from Forrest. Hit the clock. Ted Forrest has hit the clock. Psychological warfare. What that means is I don't want the blinds going up because when the blinds go up, a lucky player can win. If the blinds are smaller, the best player is going to win. And Ted Forrest is involved in every facet of the match all the way through it. And Chris Ferguson is aware of what Ted Forrest just said when he said hit the clock. Here's the flop. Chris Ferguson needs an ace. No ace on the flop, jack seven king. Now Chris needs two hearts or that ace, which has been elusive so far. On the flop, needs an ace. On the turn or the river or two hearts. a very fun card. Turn is an eight of clubs, and now Chris needs a ten or an ace to eliminate Ted Forrest, anything else, and he is really hurting here. Yes, a ten would make him a straight. Here is the river. And the river. Ace of spades! Chris Ferguson has done pretty much everything wrong in this match, <laughs> and he wins. Round one, first inning. Chris Ferguson goes up 1 0 in this best of three. You deserve that one, Ted. You deserve that one. Got two more. <laughs> no, quite exactly, no kidding. Believe me, I'm worried. <laughs> Chris Ferguson goes all in with the ace nine of hearts and catches an ace on the river to win the first match. We'll be back, match two in this best of three final coming up next.
Welcome back to Caesars Palace. Before we get to match two in the best of three national heads-up championship final, let's go to Catherine Tappan, who's with the winner of match one. Chris, in your past two championship rounds in heads-up poker, you seem pretty good at catching cards on the river. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, but I got one more match I got to do that in. You've gone from down one nothing last year. Now you're ahead one nothing. Does your strategy change at all? No, not really. You, you just have to take each match individually. Uh, so it doesn't matter if I'm ahead one nothing or down one nothing. I'm going to play my best. Thanks, Chris. Good luck in the second match. Thank you so much. Let's take a look and see what's happened in this best of three finals so far. Chris Ferguson going all in with Jack Deuce. Ted Forrest calls with a pair of queens, but Ferguson gets the deuce he needed on the turn. Ferguson puts Forrest all in with ace nine and needing an ace or a nine on the river. He gets it and takes the first match and a 1-0 lead in the final. We rejoin the action now in match two. Ted Forrest needing to win this match to force a third match. If he loses, Chris Ferguson is the champion. Ted Forrest has to win, but he's not slowing down. He's raising to 30,000 with a 10 3 of diamonds. If Ted Forrest is going to win, he's going to win his way. Flop is 8 5 7. Ferguson flops top pair eights and checks to the original Razor. And Ted Forrest saying, I'm continuing to play like Ted Forrest. I'm going to bet 35,000 here, even though I only have 10 high. Bad time for Ted Forrest to try and run this bluff. Chris Ferguson has top pair. So Ferguson raises to 135,000. Ted Forrest immediately throws his hand away. Chris Ferguson has won the first match and takes down the first hand in the second match. Chris's winning hand in match one was ace nine, and it wasn't the first time those particular cards have come through for him. Ace nine has been a very big hand for me. That's, that's kind of my signature hand. I won the 2000 World Series of Poker with the ace nine against TJ. I took the lead from him, and then he sucked out on me. And I've caught a couple nines on the river <laughs> to, to win a couple of very memorable hands, including one against Bill Helmuth last year. I mean, the nine was an amazing moment for the tournament, you know. I mean, here I was standing up to raise my arms and say, yes, I've won it. On the way standing up, I was rerouted to the ground as a nine came off. I mean, you know, I couldn't see it coming. Bam, it came off to rip my heart out. Unbelievable! Helmuth hits the deck! Ace nine's a big hand for me, and nine's a huge card. Well, it seems as Ted Forrest is trying to ward off all those aces and nines. He's put his sunglasses back on. Maybe that'll do the trick. <laughs> so Ferguson already with one match in hand in the best of three and leading here in match two on king seven. He raises to 60,000. Now, this is Chris Ferguson being aggressive here. He said, I won the first match being lucky. Now I'm going to get aggressive. And I'm going to start betting instead of calling. Forrest calls on suited ace deuce. The flop brings 5-4 ace, a pair of aces for Ted Forrest. And an inside straight draw. He'd make a straight with a three. Looks like Chris, who raised before the flop, is going to make the right move here. At the wrong time, he's going to bet again. He bet 75,000. Forrest calls. Ted Forrest. Ted Forrest is just calling because he's afraid that Chris Ferguson might have an ace with a better kicker. Turn is. Turn is a 10 of hearts, and now Ferguson is drawing dead. Ted checks again. Chris realizes at this point something's going on in this hand, and he checks back. River's a king of hearts. Bad caught for Chris Ferguson. Makes him a pair of kings. Ted bets out 100,000. And we've seen in this match before that Chris Ferguson does not want to let Ted Forrest get away with anything. I'm going to say it again. If this was another player, I don't think Chris Ferguson would be thinking about calling. 
Ted Forrest has not tried to bluff at all on the river, but Chris keeps imagining that he's going to, and there he goes. He calls. He calls.